Hey there, if you're watching this, chances are you're one of the nicest people out there. Generous, kind, always giving, and just filled with love. But here's the thing about being super nice. You've got to draw the line somewhere, or you'll find yourself being used and abused. I've been there, always saying yes to everything, offering my seat, my food, insisting I wasn't hungry when I was. But not anymore. If you're too nice and feeling walked over, this video's for you. I'll share why it's crucial to stop being overly nice and protect yourself from being taken advantage of. Don't forget to subscribe because you're about to hear some game-changing advice. First off, realize this. When someone wants to get close to you, they're likely after something you've got. It might sound cynical, but it's often the truth in our take-take-take society. They see something in you they want or need, and they're drawn to it like a magnet. Secondly, if people learn they can easily get what they want from you, they're going to keep coming back for more. You might start noticing something's off, like not feeling fulfilled in a relationship or friendship, yet they seem to be getting everything they need. You start wondering, what's in it for them? That's your cue, something's not balanced. In this video, we'll dive deeper into why being too nice can backfire, how to recognize when you're being taken advantage of, and how to start setting healthy boundaries. Because remember, being kind doesn't mean you have to compromise your well-being. Let's get into it and change the way you interact with the world while still keeping that big heart of yours intact. Ever noticed feeling a bit off when someone seems thrilled to hang out with you, but you're just not feeling it with them? Here's a little insight. They're probably getting something from you. But what exactly? It could be a range of things. For starters, money, that's a big one. Or maybe it's the attention you attract, making them feel more special just by being in your company. Popularity is another perk they might be after, basking in your spotlight to feel a bit of your shine on them. Some folks might stick around for the connections you offer, the doors you can open for them that they can't on their own. Then there are those who are all about appearances. Maybe they admire your physique or the way you present yourself, hoping some of it rubs off on them. It's pretty wild how someone's unique beauty or style can suddenly make them the best friend everyone wants to have, right? But how do you figure out if their intentions are genuine or if they're just using you? Simple, stop providing whatever it is they're after. Watch how quickly their true colors show. It's like flipping a switch. They might turn on you, throw a fit, or even try to manipulate you just to get what they want. Suddenly, all that affection turns to anger or desperation because you're not giving them their usual fix. The harsh truth? Sometimes being overly nice isn't about being kind. It's about wanting to be liked, to be seen as the perfect one in everyone's eyes. It's a tough pill to swallow, but it's important to recognize the real reasons behind our actions and the relationships we keep. It's okay to set boundaries and not bend over backward just to be accepted. Remember, it's not your job to be everyone's favorite. Just be true to yourself. If you're out there constantly seeking approval, craving the spotlight, I hate to break it to you, but it comes off as thirsty and insecure. It's like you're shouting, hey, look at me, I'm the one. But here's the thing, real confidence doesn't need constant validation. When you're genuinely confident, you don't need everyone's eyes on you every second. You know your worth and that's enough. But being too nice, that's where the problem starts. People start seeing you as an easy target, someone they can use for their own gains. They'll play nice, act like they're totally into the same things as you just to get close. But in reality, behind closed doors, they're probably doing the same act with others. You're not the only one they're leeching off of. You're just part of their strategy. And this whole being used business, it's because you're too generous with your kindness, letting them take advantage of you. End of the day, you're the one left with nothing, wondering why you're always coming up short. It's because you're giving too much to people who only take. Time to start saying no. It's okay to set boundaries, to keep some things just for yourself. God won't fault you for refusing to be walked all over. Remember, you don't owe anyone your time, 
energy or resources. When you start refusing, watch how quickly their true colors show. They'll try to guilt trip you, acting like you're the bad guy for once prioritizing yourself. But that's just it. They're upset because you're cutting off their supply. Don't let yourself be used. Recognize your value and stop handing it over to anyone who asks. Being kind doesn't mean being naive. Protect your energy and invest it in those who genuinely respect and value you, not just what they can get from you. Ever find yourself questioning why being around certain people leaves you feeling like your bank account and happiness are both in a freefall? You're spending time and money on them, and yet the more you do, the emptier you feel. And for what? A gaping void where your joy used to be, that's what. Here's the hard truth. They might be using you. Doesn't matter if it's your best friend, your spouse, anyone. If you're left feeling incomplete, if your contributions to the relationship only lead to your depletion without fulfillment, then there's a problem. Take a husband feeling neglected to the point of seeking affection elsewhere, despite a doting wife at home. It screams of superficial connections, lacking in genuine, nourishing interactions. This pattern of abuse and use isn't limited to romantic relationships. It could be anyone verbally belittling you, yet you find yourself returning to them, hoping for a change. I forgive you, we're meant to be, you say. But deep down, know this. God doesn't condone relationships that diminish your spirit. Why endure verbal lashings and return for more, mistaking it for love or divine intention? The solution? Set boundaries. Say no. Stop trying to be everyone's hero at the expense of your well-being. Someone's couch surfing plea doesn't have to become your burden. It's not your job to rescue everyone. You're not less holy or generous for choosing self-preservation. Use wisdom and discernment. Don't let your kindness be your downfall. Remember, you're valuable. Stop handing out your energy, time and resources to those who don't appreciate or reciprocate. It's time to recognize your worth, say no more often, and prioritize your well-being over pleasing everyone else. Start seeing yourself as the gold standard, the treasure that you truly are. Stop letting people walk all over you, talk down to you, and mess with your vibe. Remember, with billions of people in this world, you never have to settle for someone who treats you like you're disposable. You deserve more than just physical satisfaction in a relationship. Your partner should be your cheerleader, making you feel motivated, inspired, and truly valued. It's high time to stop engaging with those who just sit around, sucking the life out of you, and contributing nothing but negativity. If you find yourself always the one paying, driving and giving, it's a sign you're being used. Your resources are precious, and it's about time you started treating them as such. Want to build wealth? Start by not handing your blessings to those who don't appreciate them. I've been there, asking for help back in my college days, but since then, I've made my own way not out of pride, but because there's immense satisfaction in being self-reliant. Depending on others only leads to manipulation and loss of your energy and vibe. You end up feeling miserable for not meeting their endless demands. So how about saying no for a change? No, I don't want to hang out today. No, I don't want to eat that. You're entitled to your choices and preferences. Embrace that power. Remember, a true queen or king creates their destiny. They don't wait for handouts or depend on others for their happiness or success. They're self-sufficient, crafting their path with confidence and independence. Let's all aim for that level of self-assurance and autonomy where we no longer feel the need to please everyone else at the expense of our own well-being. If you're constantly needing others, you're not living like a king or queen. If you're still being pushed around, You've got the looks of royalty, but not the essence. Don't get mad at me for saying it like it is. You see, admiring other people is fine, but remember, you're not on their level. Their lifestyle and advice, it's not your reality. They're in a different league, where their choices and words stem from a place of wealth and fame that most of us don't have. I'm here to drop some truth. Stop being overly nice 
and letting others take advantage of you. The moment you pull back those privileges you've been handing out, watch how quickly people show their true colors. They'll get mad, throw shade, and act like you've wronged them by not giving them what they feel entitled to. But here's the thing, you're doing well for yourself, and suddenly they act like you owe them something. Guess what? You don't owe anyone anything. So listen up, beautiful souls. I know what I'm talking about. Speak up, let your voice be heard, and don't be afraid to leave a comment below. Being too nice isn't doing you any favors. Start saying no more often than yes and see how much simpler and stress-free your life becomes. Watch as your environment transforms into something beautiful. If this message resonates with you, don't forget to subscribe and check out my other videos.